Hello everybody, Zach here. Welcome to a game that's a little bit different. Uh, this is Mad Max, um, and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of free roam, just, you know, style stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything with the story. Uh, if you wanna see anything with the story, please tell me. Um, I'm not against it. Uh, it's just, I don't want to do any spoilers if you want to play the game, um, or if you haven't seen the movie. I don't know how much of them overlap. I think they got two different stories. But we're going to hop in, uh, my vehicle here. So, the only kind of small spoiler, if you will, is that you pick this. Uh, you go to the yard and you actually pick the vehicle you want your magnum opus, which is the name of the vehicle, or the name of the car, uh, or your car, to be. So that's the only kind of thing you do, you technically necessarily do. So we're just headed out here in the, I think it's, is it called the Wasteland? I don't, I don't want to be wrong about that and be like, everybody be like, oh no, it's not called the Wasteland. Uh, so let's just drive around a little bit and see what kind of we get into. I will say this, graphically, the game is gorgeous. Um, it's this, I mean, the aesthetic is, is one thing, but also to the style overall and the graphics, they are awesome. The map is humongous. And this is only from a little bit of gameplay. So, yeah, high hopes for the game. Reviews are, to be honest, actually kind of... Oh, here we go. We got a little thing. Did I go to this place already? But I guess there's, like, gas. Uh, that's one thing that's you can look at as a negative and a positive. Yeah, we already stopped here. We already got gas here before. Uh, I can't pick up more uh, gas, though. So, one of the things that you... Out. No surprises. I don't know what that means. Oh, he's talking to... Uh, the guy in the back. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the vehicle. I'm gonna store the fuel can, just in case. So yeah, one of the things you deal with is um, a couple different things that you have to make sure you have inventory of in this game. Uh, one of them is gas, because the cars actually do require gas. Uh, one of them is, is this like, am I gonna get to a dead end up here? I'm not sure. One of them is gas. Uh, you have to maintain water for yourself. The only thing that water does to my knowledge is uh, you can drink it and restore your health. So, good in that in that aspect. Um, are we headed up towards the place that we picked the vehicle from? I'm not exactly sure where we're headed to right now, to be honest. Uh, bear with me. Oh, yeah, yeah, we broke... I think we... I think we broke into this place to get our vehicle in the first. Yeah, I don't think I will actually want to be headed down here. Actually, nope, pretty sure I don't. So then also, you, you deal with um, vehicle health, and this guy, this weird guy, ch Chum. Ch he's not Chum Bucket. What the hell is he called? Is he Chum Bucket? He might be Chum Bucket. God, again, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be freaking look like an idiot. Uh, Chumble Bucket, whatever his freaking name is. Um, but yeah, he can repair your car, which is good, so you can repair it on the go or head back to his base. We're gonna get uh, some speed here. This kind of actually is pretty, this, uh, the car I picked, oh shoot, we kind of slowed down there, uh, in that sand. We kind of, kind of got a Mustang-ish style to it. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and the physics and the aesthetic of the game overall, they really do freaking, they make this game. Uh, of course they do, because that's the property. <laughs> Let's actually head back up in here, since it doesn't look like this is really, like, marked. Uh, it's not marked because there's, like, nothing here. Lol, we're gonna crash through whatever the hell that was. There's, like, a piece of a boat there. Let's see if there's any, like, camps or anything. I kinda just want to show you guys the overall style of the game, and, uh, aesthetics of the game, if you will. Because that's what I find really appealing. I mean, obviously, story's gonna be something appealing, so... Do one or two things for me. Like if you want to see more videos of this game, uh, as well as comment if there's something... No. Comment, sorry. Comment if there's, like, you want to see the story, or if you want to see me progress in the story in this game. Um, I think both would be cool. Okay, so we're headed down here. I, you know, I think both would be cool. Maybe if I unlock more areas or we get to some... Oh, so there's, like, a thing up here. Let's go back here. So there's like parts and sometimes other stuff at these locations that are marked. Oh, weak gate. Interesting. What can I can I ram this gate? What is this? Oh, it's like a gate that's like. Oh, okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna back our car up. This is one of the mechanics uh, of the game that we're gonna experience. We're gonna take the fuel can. 
We're going to run over here. And we're going to ignite it over this gate and uh, explode it, essentially. Explode it. Let's go ahead and ignite that. We're going to drop this. And then... Is that going to explode? That's going to explode. Hmm. Is there a way to get in this? That I just didn't think of? Am I an idiot? There's something that I don't know that I can't do this right now. <laughs> maybe I'm an idiot. Oh, maybe I have to... No, that... Damn it. Well, I might have screwed that up. Or might have not been able to do it at this point. Maybe there's some, like, RAM feature or, uh... Something. Like, the shotgun's not gonna work. Like, can I just, like, drive on this? Nope, that's not gonna... All right, well, let's leave that alone for now because I have no clue about it. And I don't know what it... Yep, <laughs> I don't know what it is, essentially. <laughs> I'll say that. I'll admit when I don't have a clue. Ah, uh, there might actually not be much for us to do here, to be honest. That might have been... Might have been my bad. Not thinking of... Of kind of that. In terms of, like, the story needing to be something that you progress with. Actually, let's head up here because there looks like there's, like, almost like a... It's like a boat up here. Let's see what that's about. That's interesting. Like I said, definitely a cool aesthetic. Let's go ahead and head this way. What the hell was that? Oh, I might just hit some rocks. Oh, actually, is this where we came from to start the game? I think this might have been. Yeah, this is kind of just like the starting area. I think actually we're headed down towards where we legitly started the game. Wow, just look at that, though. That is just nuts. Oh, shit. <sighs> Whoa. Luckily, our brakes are pretty good. Okay, so we're pretty much just driving around doing nothing. Just Yeah. <sighs> look at this, though. That is wild. We got that V8, though. That's awesome. But yeah, awesome aesthetic. Uh, tell me if you want to see some story. Um, that's kind of, actually, to be honest, maybe all this is, this is really going to be today. Uh, it's just a little bit of an introduction and kind of a, a feeler. If you guys want to see the story, let me know. Um, I kind of already went through the intro, but I probably can record the, you know, the, the intro intro and uh, go through all that stuff for you. But yeah, uh, let's get through here and just, just head on back here. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, God. We're going to have some damage there. But this is what we do. We put him out. Get out he there can and fix it. Get, that seems kind of mean, actually. But he's going to fix the car. It only required one wrench. One one turn of the wrench. And it was repaired. It wasn't too damaged. But yeah, uh, let me know if you guys want to see more and see some of the story of Mad Max the game. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye.